your tums and stuff oh. look like candy! <laughs> Call it! <laughs> you don't! <laughs> Mom! Mom! <laughs> 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 yes, that's what the big one is. <laughs> Mystery. Oh, that's right. As you just heard from our lovely intro, you're <laughs> listening to High Mystery. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're a podcast where we get super stoned. Mm-hmm. Yes. Hi, hi, hi. <laughs> <laughs> that level stone. And then yeah, we but... talk about mysteries. Yeah. Uh, I'm Tristan. Uh, I'm Brian. I'm Holly. I'm Leanne. I'm Robert. I'm Colin. I'm Chris. There you go. We got the whole gang here. As you heard, we still have the lovely Brian. Yay, Yay. for me! He and is lovely. <laughs> I'm, I'm kind of like struggling a little bit. I had to get into these nuts because like <laughs> these cashews. I should. Get into <laughs> Dude, Brian, you had to get into I these nuts. I down, man. You boys got me. You boys got me high. <laughs> and we're only going to continue down that path. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, welcome, my son, <laughs> to the dark side. <laughs> Come with us down the scary woods. Do not worry, as your faculties will go. You will be comforted. It is part of the process. Should your spirit leave your corporal being, do not be surprised. You guys literally aren't making it better. (laughs) Don't worry, we're the sweet ones. (laughs) Just wait until the bad trip starts. (laughs) We also have Chris back in. Heidi yeah, yeah, Ho, Heidi Ho. Yeah. His mystery has been solved. Yes. yes. <laughs> He's here. We know where he is. <laughs> <laughs> uh, today we're smoking Rob's Blunt. I've got a Grape Ape High Hemp Wrap packed with San Fernando Valley OG. Nice. Ooh. I'm going to match that with my blunt. <gasps> oh no. Uh, I see a blunt. Which is a twisted hemp wrap. Yeah. So Battle of the Hemp Wraps. <laughs> Battle of the Hemp Wraps. <laughs> it has begun. This I... is California Dream. And oh. Trist, that's a really nice color of green though. That's yeah, it really is. Beautiful. Oh, is it a battle nice. or is it a dance? Hey, Rob. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a pot of two. Yeah. Oh, although Rob's does look classic. So intertwined. <laughs> Today we find ourselves enjoying a pot of two of plants. Uh, it is in 4 4 time and the P of E. <laughs> <laughs> when you started that voice, I wasn't looking at it. I was literally like, who the fuck is that? <laughs> 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 I looked at the side of you and We've I was like, uh, that face you were making, I was like, ooh. That is That's Colin doing that voice. <laughs> <laughs> I have sat with friends like <laughs> listening to the episodes. Sometimes they're like, is that you right there? Sometimes <laughs> I can't tell who's doing the voices. <laughs> Generic. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and mine is stuck with the XJ13. Oh, pure. Oh, I thought, I see. California Dream is the rap. Yes. yes. I was thinking it was the weed. No. Mm-hmm. So, wait, what weed? XJ13. Uh, XJ13. Uh, uh, is X, you guys might know this. Sure. Is XJ13 what they used to call AK-47? Are they a similar strain? I don't think so. I think it's an off strain of the Jack strain. Right. Yeah, and that's the uh, XJ, XJ yep. and the number. It's like a Weapon X. Yeah. You know? It's the it. 13th iteration of this strain of Jack. Oh, the coolest sounding number. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we it's not real spell, right? <laughs> We still have an awesome guest in the room as well. <laughs> and we're just getting off doing a nice little Patreon episode. So if you want to check out the Patreon <laughs> stuff, you got to go to the webpage. And through the webpage, you can find the Patreon thing. Don't try to Google it. I tried. Yes, I please. Failed. Don't so, keep it a website. mystery from yourself. Exactly. <laughs> go to Patreon and find out. Yeah, we've got some videos. We've got some extra episodes. There's some content there. Yes, and with that being said, we're going to spark... We Back. should spark both. Both what? at the same time? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I mean, oh, 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 get much more dueling than that. Ba-boom! <laughs> the dance has begun! As I said earlier, we'll be enjoying a part of two of plants. The only thing is, when you're super on the Patreon, to keep those voices consistent. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Real tough to revisit those oh. voices. On the Patreon page, are you guys going to show the video of me coughing till I puke? (laughs) We got to make it first, brother. (laughs) Does that really happen? 
No. No, okay. No. Thank God. <laughs> We're in danger of that happening. Yeah. I was just a little He's little giving us fair so path. We're just like, you know. He's, he's shoveling nuts over there. <laughs> <laughs> shoveling nuts in here. Ready for my cash pew? <laughs> spew? Cash pew. I almost had it. I almost had the perfect joke. Cash pew. Oh. <laughs> I believe you're trying to say. Uh, uh, they go with your nuts. That makes me think of one episode of South Park where he gets cheated out of his money for pubes and he tries to buy a ticket to the movie theater with pubes and the guy just looks at him for a second and he's like, no, we don't take pubes here. We don't take pubes! Oh, <laughs> And that then he kills that kid's parents. Yeah, and feeds him. <laughs> Spoiler <laughs> alert. That is the and best. And then he tastes their tears, like right? Yeah. Yeah. The tea. Yeah. The tea. Yeah. The tea. Yeah. you make. But uh, as we have this pot of dew of blunts passing around the room, we got to do a mystery. So what's up, Tristan? I guess. <laughs> I mean, I guess we don't have to. It's just kind of a different podcast. <laughs> Welcome to High... Uh, I brought in a music related one so I'm going to play a little something to get you in the mood I'm in the mood Um, I'm sure this is Chris's favorite artist of all time this is Chris's favorite recording session of all time it's all been Chris and audio today oh I love it (laughs) baby baby how is she supposed to know? I just don't get how was she supposed to know. That is the mystery. What was she supposed to know? That's right. It's Britney, bitches. That song is that song is instantly recognized. Yeah, I've sung that song a million times. My lower back. Just kill it. And now I swim because I can't run. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, it's it's a mystery on Britney Spears. But I'm gonna have to uh, go back a little bit now to set some stuff up. Set us up, baby. So yes. as as we all know. The Bush era was a heyday for conspiracy theories. Mm, mm. Oh, okay. right. Bush. Mostly revolving Huge. around what <laughs> some believe, you know, to be the truth of 9-11 mm. and uh, sure. other underhanded ventures of the government, sure. if you will. Yep. Yep. Needless to say, there was a lot going on that raised suspicious, uh, or suspicion of foul play. Mm. Mm-hmm. And also during this time, there's the rise of the 24-hour news cycle, uh, where they had to be a new juicy story every hour to appease the masses. Uh, so if you've ever seen, you know, the Anchorman 2 Multiple movie. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Welcome back, it's 4 a.m. Uh, we've got a we've got a big cookie. <laughs> Someone's making a big cookie. I promise. Please tune in. <laughs> breaking news, breaking news. Someone has bitten into the cookie. Not torn a piece, but an actual bite. <laughs> we'll be right back with a whole lot more desperation news. <laughs> Please tune in. Please tune in. <laughs> um so yes, to connect the two, now the question is, did the Bush administration use the news frenzy to its advantage? Oh. And the internet says, yes. Yes, oh, it did. Oh, you betcha. Yes. Yes. Quick question. When you say <laughs> the internet, what do you mean? I mean, like... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> if I'm going to drop my conspiracies in here, I got to know what the levels is. Hey. The, the hive mind the internet that is troll the people on the internet. Troll masses. Oh, okay, yeah. 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 Is, is there any specific source or anything like that? Uh, not specific sources, but there are, like, general um, factual things that happen in relation. All right. Now back to general factual things. <laughs> 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 Less general by Brian. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, it's your episode. You do as much time as you want to. <laughs> now five minutes of him eating cashews. <laughs> 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 Oh, fire the cashews <laughs> <laughs> Somebody give me something to pick my teeth with. <laughs> <laughs> get some pubes out. <laughs> Back to the pubes. Yeah, pubes. So the theory is that Britney Spears was on the Bush payroll as a professional distractor. <coughs> oh, so like her okay. whole devolution? 
They're staying yeah, and like, didn't she made some trips to the White House too? <gasps> Multiple. So basically, her job would be, for example, whenever a big bungling went down, mm. like for example in Dubai, thanks to the government, Britney would have a conveniently timed meltdown, placing the pop star at the top of CNN's news crawl, steering eyes away from uh, Bush's newest blunder. This ain't a mystery. This is the truth. So he said <laughs> yes. nuclear, and she whacked a car with a golf club. That's the idea. Yep. Yeah. You, so some people may not buy it. We're going to go down a little journey of incidences in time. Yeah. January 5th. <laughs> Connect the You're dots. laying them down today. Yes. yes. Well, well, man. Man. <laughs> Connect the dots. Of incidences through time. <laughs> Join us on the journey. <laughs> <laughs> well, here it goes. Here comes yeah. the <laughs> <laughs> Check out our Patreon page. <laughs> I mean, it's just basically Dad cash. Rush. Oh, fuck, there's another one. Yeah. <laughs> it keeps on coming. Just to be clear. His Two thing months. is like, usually I say no, but not today. <laughs> so, January 5th, 2004. A year <coughs> earlier, there was a Bush uh, cross controversy that blew up the cover of a CIA agent, Valerie Plum, and the fallout from it became, uh, plain, sorry, and it became plain gate, which led to the indictment of Scooter Libby, a top-tier Bush official, an yes. inspiration for Matthew Broderick's character on 30 Rock. Scooter mm -hmm. Libby is such a, hmm. like a comic book name. Yeah. That was a It's a nickname. A man? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Or like, or like one of the like the secondary characters in those Damon Runyon esque yeah. like plays and like sure. musicals. Yeah, definitely feels like a musical character. Yeah. What character? I mean, I'm sure he Matthew, did break out in song. What character does uh, Braddock play on Three Rock? He's really soft spined, and he's like, "Oh, we're so glad you're here. We got pens. Oh, but they got no caps." <laughs> oh, okay. yes. <laughs> oh yes. <laughs> yeah. Town Baldwin, oh. <coughs> who worked for the government at the White House, and then like, realized yeah. it was terrible, and went back to the private sector. <laughs> they're just, they're just. I had a friend tell me recently that they, <laughs> reference, they reference. got yelled at by Alec Baldwin. Oh, yeah. and how was that for them? But by, by <laughs> screamed her name like, because <laughs> because she was like a production uh, coordinator for mm. the show. Like I was just like, that sounds like him. Mm. <laughs> so, Shit, here it comes. So Scooter Libby actually. Yeah. Uh, before the United States versus Libby was to start, Brittany marries childhood friend Jason Alexander in Las Vegas. 55 oh, yeah. hours later, the marriage is annulled. Uh, Alexander told ABC News that it wasn't really a booty call. It was just, you know, a friend asking a friend to come on a trip. And uh, <laughs> with their genitals. <laughs> hey, 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 you want to come on a trip with my genitals? Don't you dare not pack your genitals. <laughs> this, you know, and like that dude, like nobody's heard of him, so you know he took the pussy versus the money, right? Jason so Alexander, wasn't he the guy from Seinfeld, the little fat bald yes. guy? Yes! George. Yeah, that's crazy. Is that that guy? It didn't buy it. That guy. No, no. Yeah. That's who it is now. In my head, that's no. who it is. I'd pay to see that porno, though. Would you? <laughs> I would pay not. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I don't want to see George. <laughs> All I can see is him having the tail from uh, Shallow Hal. You know, he's got a little extended tail yeah. in that movie that he wags. Oh, yeah. Yeah. No, oh, watch it. Even though he's so shallow himself. Like, he's so, so concerned with, like, the physical appearance, but he's got, like, an ailment or whatever. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wasn't uh, Hitler Jewish? ba ba -dum. Not a good podcast unless you men mention Hitler. <laughs> Check. So, yeah. Welcome back to the Mentioning Hitler podcast. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you like have two of them. One's like listed as that. <laughs> it's the same podcast. <laughs> That's not a bad idea. Just cross marketing. Right. Just, just pretend like people Who are these idiot. fucking jackasses. <laughs> This podcast <laughs> two episodes. Two episodes. Two episodes. Two episodes. Nothing. There is no mention of Hitler whatsoever. See, there we him. And then suddenly, they're in my head. <laughs> God damn it. 
Okay, okay Tristan, 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 you're a spank for God's sake. Yep. Uh, we're lost. Right, 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 right. Uh, so yeah, they the the people feel that it was more like in reference to Brittany helping her friend out in regards to the Bush administration by distracting the American public from the stream of endless corruption carried out by the powerful entities. And the That's B, the lizard people. What? Yeah. Was there anything specific that <laughs> happened with the Bush administration at that time? Yeah, it was the whole uh, United States versus Libby. Yeah. Oh, okay, gotcha. Gotcha. April so 2006. Was... Oh. Yeah. Oh. I was a senior in high school. I, de- def- I was definitely remember Britney Spears' yeah. marriage mm-hmm. and quick annulment. Did you? But I do not yeah. remember Bush's fuck ups. I was well, then it worked. Did you, uh, <laughs> I was quite right. the opposite you because just, I was the uh, in the, the military Navy, at the yeah. time. Yeah. <laughs> Getting out in two thousand six. So yes. all you were hearing about was the Bush stuff. Yeah. yeah. Weren't something you... Britney even the boats? I mean, on the boat. <laughs> <laughs> well, the Britney, boat. Britney got on the boat all the time. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we were all listening to Britney. Uh, so yes, two thousand six. The Bush's approval rating is at an all time low, thirty eight percent. And at this time, Brittany is seen driving with infant Sean Preston on her lap rather than in a car seat. Oh my Later, God. child welfare officials and the sheriff's department investigate a story that Sean was injured in a fall from his high chair. So people start stop talking about their awful president overlord and engage in endless debates <clears throat> about lap infant protocol, all while the nation descends into further darkness. Well, and I remember <laughs> Brittany's response to this was rather outlandish because she was just like, I'm from the country and that's just what we do. We drive with the babies on the lap in the country. I didn't think twice about it. You know what I mean? And like, that's just yes. such a flippant reaction to, I don't know. Yes. <laughs> I mean, I have a good response. It's dismissive. I definitely agree with, you know, the infant things, but I, as a kid, I definitely roll, like rode in the back of yeah. truck beds and stuff mm-hmm. with no seatbelts Me too, stuff. but that doesn't mean it was good. That's <laughs> My uncles all had the trucks where you, the seatbelts were just gone. They were just buried. They might not even be there, but you're definitely not digging them out from whence they, they lie, you know, like just out of just too. <laughs> but she has the level of fame that she should have people who right. are mentioning, hey, your baby has to be in the car seat. Or they're right. just she's such she's people she, that... Yeah, she's Britney. She do what she want. Dude, don't <laughs> talk sure. shit to Britney. She'll fucking fire you, bro. <laughs> or she knew exactly what she was doing and was working. Exactly. She's a genius. I'm curious, do you, do you ever cover Britney's restaurant in this? I know it's like a side tangent entirely. I don't think so. Brittany opened a restaurant in New York featuring southern fried menu options, mm-hmm. including raccoon and oh. like beaver and like <laughs> like real like backwoods like Brittany's beaver. Like yes, in New York she, she opened this restaurant no that was way. like supposed to be representative of where <laughs> she was from. And I, I obviously it didn't do well. I just wondered if maybe that was <laughs> <laughs> right after Bush well, did why? something. Why? Why did it do that? Why? 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 I can't see anything going wrong with this. Oh, I love you, Brittany. <laughs> uh, November 6, 2006, the day before midterm election in which Republicans could potentially lose 33 Senate seats and 435 House seats, Spears announces her split from Kevin Federline, mm-hmm. and the she people go crazy okay. over the... The she people? Yeah, that's what I call the sheep people. Uh, uh. <laughs> the sheeple? Oh, the, the sheeple. sheeple. The sheeple. Yeah. I, yeah, I thought you were talking about... She people is... <laughs> <laughs> sheep persons, I get you. She, 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 he's like, I don't use that word. Derogatory as fuck, the sheep people. She people. Humanity? I'm surprised Colin didn't say that. <laughs> oh man, that's one you. reference to, to, to whatever it is. God damn it. You are now labeled the racist. One <laughs> reference to Rocky IV. Uh, three. Four. All of them. I mean, Drago. <laughs> so, that the was most, four, wasn't it? It's the most Russian <clears throat> potent of yes, the Rockies, for sure. Mm-hmm. But they solve uh, the Cold War in that movie. Which one they does really he beat the meat? You know, he's in the freezer. And it's like the first two. It's a different movie. <laughs> oh, it's on fire. 
strong desire. No one knows these words. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea. Then you know the next part. Hearts on fire. <laughs> No, we don't. <laughs> I do not. I, know I do. I know. I know the words. I thought you were gonna say some. I thought you were gonna say something else. <laughs> I, don't know the words. I don't know the rest. <laughs> February two thousand seven. <laughs> oh yeah. Bush announces the reformation of Al Qaeda. The Bush. same night, Britney sneaks out of rehab, shaves her head, and attacks a paparazzi van with an umbrella. God, she's doing a really good job. She killed this job. She <laughs> crushed it at being a spy, or like an undercover agent for the Bush Right, Bush her Bush secret Bush. phone rings. She gets the call on the okay. shoe phone. I'll sacrifice my dignity <laughs> may... for Bush? Oh, it's better than her music. Britney. I may be a little too high to be able to like pinpoint this concept, but is it also possible that the Bushes and all their kin were doing so much horrible shit that of course every time she flipped out, something happened when they were doing something horrible. What are the metrics? How many, like, what what intensity of like horribleness are we saying these things are? So that kind of falls into like the holes of the theory is, you know, there are a few incidents that did not, you know, coincide with Bush's fuck ups, you know, as well as incidences that would have he like what? What? What did she? What? What have she done to like cover up nine eleven? <laughs> <laughs> like how horrible she was thing. just like, uh, <laughs> nope. <laughs> <laughs> <Walk away. laughs> they slid her the plan. Oh, no, she read it. She's like, no, no, <laughs> no, 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 even no. Britney won't do this. <laughs> Cut off my own legs and eat them. <laughs> <laughs> we got a compromise here. Where do we meet the middle of this? What's I'm halfway to eating my own legs? <laughs> Coming out as trans. <laughs> I would say that the small ones that like don't coincide with big events would be like that she's just throwing those in for free to keep us trailing mm, along. Right. You know, she, she does she can't fall out of the, out of the limelight. Exactly. You know what? I'm That's, back on board. Yeah, hundred <laughs> percent right. Also, maybe the administration knew that something was on the tip of coming out, and then because preempted it. they got, yeah, preempted. Yeah, they snagged. She snagged us first. Yeah, <laughs> the news also, cycle. She knew where tears. she was in the news cycle. She is the <laughs> savvy. <laughs> There's also um, the theory that I'll get into a little bit later that she didn't even know that she was working for the administration. Um. Mm. And that's where the Illuminati, Joseph and Amor. <laughs> Sleeper Britney. Right. Sleeper Britney. <laughs> the wrong word will activate it. Here's your raccoon mushroom burger. <laughs> but she just brings <laughs> up and her eyes turn red. Flat throat. <laughs> Gotta kill the Prime Minister of Malaysia. <laughs> she throws on Assassin's Creed coat and just runs out the door. <laughs> I love this restaurant. <laughs> Um, so the last incident that I'll have before I get into the other things is that, uh, March 14th, 2007, uh, General, Attorney General Alberto Gonzalez admits that mistakes were made in the firing of eight U.S. attorneys who didn't seem loyal enough to the Bush administration. <laughs> 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 I Bush. <laughs> Put your face in it! He just had to clear his throat a little bit. Listen, we're doing it! Y'all can eat dinner at my table, but you gotta answer one question. Are you loyal to the bush? Are you loyal to the bush? <laughs> Swear to it! <laughs> this is a brand of nice horror movie where we're just gross rednecks. <laughs> oh. It's a true to life horror movie. We're, we're half naked, you don't know which half. <laughs> <laughs> Are we next Daffy Duck in it? You can't tell. Oh, oh my God. Oh, the stuff. same day that I'm happened. Really doing it. <laughs> <laughs> the same day, a story is leaked about Britney hooking up with someone in rehab. After that, the Britney drama dries up around the 2008 election. And uh, so the thought is that it's either that she was put in a, you know, lock and key and is under her father's guy somewhere not allowed to like go out and make mistakes or whatever or that you know they the people that be um don't need her services any longer 
Yeah. Mm. And now she's finished. She's when finished was the, the last Britney freak out? Um, something happened fairly recently, right? I feel like it was um, something with her mom. Like her mom sued her or something crazy. I don't know. Like I feel something like the rest... about her Vegas shows shutting down? Is that a... Maybe. That I feel thing? like she's been killing mm-hmm. Vegas. I thought she had uh, like a steady thing going on. I thought there. she fell yeah. or something one night. Obviously, she's faded out of our, you know, all these other things are like burned into our right. brain. Like Not I, inside guys anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I remember when she smacked up K Fed's ride with the uh, golf oh, club. Brittany's gonna be. And when she like she shit her best. head. Well, no, we're you know we're saying that. I mean, we may get to the point where we may say that it's not even of her own volition. I, I or think, if it is, that she's, you know, doing something for her country. We're I like her. that she's, like, active. That she's an active agent in it, and she's aware of it, and she's just really good at her job. Like, she's <laughs> really good at being... Mm, she's a good thirst trap. Yeah. Yeah. Either way, we're all in agreement to leave Britney alone, right? Yeah, yeah. back <laughs> off, Britney. Leave Britney alone. She's been so much. Internet yeah. reference. <laughs> yeah. I can. Uh, so We're bringing in the kiddos. Yeah. <laughs> the young don't, generation. Don't forget the hashtag. South Park. Buy weed. I can <laughs> comment on the internet. <laughs> um, so there is a precedent for artists covertly serving national interest. Uh, the CIA did secretly bankroll the abstract expressionist movement in the 50s and mm-hmm. 60s as a way to combat Soviet communism. Whoa. How did they figure? Yeah. The goal was to show the superiority of free market culture by exporting a hip, edgy, and all-American art form. Yeah, they had to create their own art and shit. They had to be like, this is cool now! <laughs> like, huh? Yeah. Respect this America! This Russians are cool some mad-skilled artists, man. Like, they, they got mad skills. And so, like, the CIA was literally like, uh... <laughs> New, better America! <laughs> they pumped all kinds of money into it. Pollock, all those dudes were paid by the CIA. Fact. Mm. Elvis Presley, who expressed a want to infiltrate the music industry and flush out communist drug dealers. Mm, spy words if you ever heard them. Yes, was given a badge from the Bureau of Narcotics oh, and yeah. Dangerous Drugs by Richard Nixon himself. I heard that he was doing that simply to get the Beatles out of the country. What, giving wow. Elvis Presley drugs? No, the badge to be <laughs> yeah. like, yeah, you're now part of the Bureau of Narcotics and Drugs. The dangerous drugs. You I have read... authority. Huh. That's right. I read a That's recent right. account of that from some reliable source, and it was a situation where somebody was like, um, when Elvis went into this meeting, he really full up was on drugs. <laughs> like, <laughs> oh, yeah. He was like... Like riddle and up or whatever, whatever kind of like uppers downers combination he was on, and like that was Elvis's thing. Like he just wanted a badge. Like everywhere he went, <laughs> he would demand badges of people from like associations and like degrees and stuff like that. He I'm just, just, I'm just thinking of Elvis is so simple now. I just want a badge. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a badge. They look real cool. I want to be able to hold it in my palm. <laughs> Give me a bow. I'll see the way other people look at badges. Hold a badge. Elvis, baby, want to give you a million dollars. No, I I need a small piece of metal. (laughs) Shaped like a badge. You got it, (laughs) bud. Elvis was also known to whip badges out at people. (laughs) If you had one, he would be in a situation, he wouldn't lead with, I'm Elvis. He'd be like, whap. (laughs) <laughs> if you have one, you gotta whip it out. That's what you do with the best. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you guys. Uh, so, conspiracy theorists also point to Britney Spears' cameo in Fahrenheit 9 11 in which she voices unwavering support of the president as further proof that she was in his pocket. Oh. Well, you saw what happened to people that didn't support the president during the war, like the Dixie Chicks. I knew it. Who? <laughs> the Dixie Chicks. Oh, they said what we were all thinking, and they I didn't think they were going to get fucked for it, and they did. Yeah. They, got, they got hammered. I was like, what? was that really? The Dixie Chicks at a concert uh-huh. said that they were embarrassed that Trump was from Texas. Not Trump. It was oh, or not Trump. 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 Yeah. <laughs> Georgia. Free Trump. Trump. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, oh, the game everyone's place. embarrassed. <laughs> 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 it's just when you're talking about embarrassing the president. It's, it's the first one that comes to mind. Right straight to my brain. Wow. I do, I do recall that. 
Yeah. And then they what just their touring dried up or their CDs got burned. Yeah. Oh, and right. They, oh, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. they got yeah. banned from Walmart. It was yeah. like it was like it was the like... whole John Lennon Jesus comment all mm-hmm. over. Mm-hmm. 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 Okay, but I feel it. In a modern era. <laughs> sure. I feel about it. a guy who was like a confessed cokehead. That was the thing this thing about second Bush when everybody was like, uh, there's no way they'll make Trump president. I was like, I don't know, man. I was around when they pushed Bush too on us, and like he was literally a cokehead. And DUI, DUIs, and all this shit, and he'd like. He's a fucking party boy. He was yeah. laughing at yeah. us the whole time he was out there. Like, <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, was like, I was like, yeah, that yeah, was great. I can't believe it. <laughs> Everybody's <laughs> looking at me and stuff. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I can just say some stuff. Huh? Oh, wow, boy. That's exactly the way it was going down. Oh. Wow. <laughs> Oh, no. <laughs> and then Cheney. I don't, well, have, I mean, I don't have a Cheney impression. Oh, You're in the other direction. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, I'm real, real. I'm starting to think that this isn't a mystery. I mean, we just all know that Britney's an agent of the Bushes. To what extent? Exactly. We have to figure out. Uh, yes. Mm-hmm. So there's either she's mm-hmm. in, fully in on it, gets the secret calls, decides everything on her own volition, and then there's. The other side of it, which involves Illuminati. And I yes. think we can all agree that the Illuminati controls everything. Everything. It's literally <laughs> in their name. Yes. So the Illuminati like gave K Fed some love potion that made him fall in love with a chick at a bar. They're well, not no, they're like, hey, you want to be relevant? Do. You want oh. people to know who the fuck you are? So you're saying they like came to Britney in the dark, like Britney, do you want everything in the world? <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. This is a different thing. They might have programmed her with drugs or just made him available to her or knew what she would want. Mm. The Illuminati knows all they about just the just They have just pulled the puppet strings. Ones. Yep. So one way they keep their stranglehold on the world is through the operant conditioning of highly positioned celebrities. God love. <laughs> Allegedly, a co-production of the Illuminati and infamous Nazi doctor Joseph Mengele, uh, there is the Project Monarch, which mm. brainwashes people, usually celebrities, usually women, into being superior soldier prostitutes. Oh Whoa. my god! Oh my. Oh I can't they just be superior <laughs> soldiers. No. Well, Why they, did they have to wow. be superior <laughs> soldier Because they used and also the superior soldiers, sex they used, workers. They used the sex <laughs> to infiltrate, you know, the sexiness, the whatever, to like. You know, I got you. It's it. like they Dude. gotta be. They gotta also be masters of seductress. <laughs> right. We see the nation away from yeah. that. We see in spy movies, the spy sometimes has to have sex with the person, but we don't think of the them as a prostitute, box. but they are having sex with them for work. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, semantics. Do Doesn't mean, yeah, they, they always, they're still going to split your throat at the end. Oh. The sex work is work. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. Just Whoa. another shade. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, you know, they reference celebrities such as Paris Hilton, Anna Nicole Smith, Amanda Bynes, and Britney Spears. Um, as the theory goes, were subjected to trauma at a young age, which caused them it, to disassociate. And then these disassociative personalities then carry out the government's duty business when triggered by a code word. Duty, duty business. business. <laughs> That's what Lou does. I know you with the duty. <laughs> Um, I wasn't worth thinking about the code word. I just love the idea. Like, what do you pick for a code word? And you know, you spend some time thinking of the code word. Are we it talking could be an anything. overall code word, or the, they're each individual code words? I mean, it could they, be a phrase or a sequence of words, like in Winter Soldier. Mm-hmm. That makes the most sense because otherwise, somebody's going to say, "Here's your volcano pineapple." <laughs> and then all of a sudden, they're murdering everyone at the restaurant. <laughs> Is it safe? You know, that sort of thing. Yeah. <laughs> so those who believe Britney Spears is uh, a monarch operative point to her time on the Mickey Mouse Club. And then obviously the, also, the site of brainwashing. And, yeah. Now when you talk about it being a monarch operative, I start thinking about that the dude from Venture Brothers. Mm-hmm. The monarch! <laughs> the monarch! <laughs> like that, that's who's controlling Britney Definitely. in my mind right now. Um, her first tattoo is also a butterfly. <gasps> Ooh. Oh. The movie butterfly that she was in. And she did uh, adopt 
this uh, British accent during the 2007s uh, <laughs> as evidence of her like conditioning. So like back in 2007, Britney would become this British girl and talk in an accent for like hours. Britney Spears like, always sounds like this to me. <laughs> <laughs> I never heard her talking no. According to the Daily Mail, uh, when Britney would return from one of her episodes, she would have no recollection of what she did or said during the time that she assumed her British personality. What? Was her British accent any good? Was it a believable? I'm imagining yeah. it's just trash. You know, I remember just like it that happening, girl. and I remember it being like, oh, that's a decent copy of like Madonna's British. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, something mm-hmm. that's put on, because like a sorority yeah. girl... <laughs> goes to England for two weeks in the summer and comes back like this. Yes. I don't know, I just picked it up. I'm mm-hmm. acting now. Because it was soon after the movie, right? I think so. Which was called so. Butterfly, right? I just picture her. Butterfly, oh. Crossroads. Oh. Oh. Just dropping hits like, left and right. Oh. 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 It's almost like the Monarch Association Damn. wants us to know <laughs> that they're the Monarch Association. It's like we feed them power. <laughs> yeah, the Illuminati famously like to do that. They like to smack it in your face they while they're, you know, stealing your children. Because what what are we simple to gonna, gonna, gonna do, do or say about right? Nothing. Yeah, nothing. nothing. No. nothing. No. <laughs> You're so poor. <laughs> 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 I let us literally spend less of my money to kill all of you. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't even think about it. Except I have to sign the waiver. <laughs> Which makes me responsible because I can't be caught. <laughs> Wait me first. <laughs> Tories. Uh, so monarch victims have handlers, people who are responsible for triggering the operative personalities. Uh, and so who was Britney's? They say a likely candidate would have been her manager, her uh, uh, Osama Sam Lutfi. Oh, Lutfi? Yeah. Lutfi? Lutfi? Oh, so Lutfi was uh, this was with Spears during her 2007 breakdown, and then in 2008, uh, Spears' parents successfully obtained a restraining order against him, alleging that he had Whoa. been drugging her. Whoa. And uh, guiding her into to her own downward spiral. Again, they just come out with a bag of drugs and just drop it at your feet. Boom. Yeah, I, I like in my head, this is how it happened. Dude rolls up on her and is like, like injects her with something. Mm-hmm. And is like, cherry pie, twenty three. Get me one. You know, and then she's like, right. <laughs> 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 like she's like, she's like <laughs> right? That yeah. dude shows up, just injects her with some drugs, and like, you back on the bus train, hey! And Crazy follows him, because he went on to work with Amanda Bynes and Courtney Love. Oh. Lutfi was the one who tricked Bynes into being hospitalized during her breakdown in 2014. Toxic male. This dude. Nothing to do with this heritage. <laughs> Very little is known about Luffy's background, according to the. And Daily if we don't know, then we have to assume the worst. Exactly, mm-hmm. according to Daily the Daily Beast, Luffy has a LinkedIn profile claiming that oh, no. the independent media production professional attended USC, but <laughs> the school's website does not list Luffy as an alumni. Hmm. That's. Lies. Although that is a common practice where, like, if there's anything surrounding you that is kind of, like, a little weird, a lot of times alumni will just pull your name from the record. Makes sense. That's right. That's been proven that happened. He could have changed his name, too, like, for a stage name, you know. Yeah, for I sure. bet nobody knows where Harvey Weinstein went to college anymore. <laughs> <laughs> if anybody asks, 
ask the like hard to wine speed waiter, right? And they're like, no, 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 no. Why'd you hear that? We got a nine one four. We got a nine one four. He's got to be running out of money soon. I mean, that's how they take a dude like that down. You just keep suing him, suing him, suing him, suing him until he can't protect himself. Well, and they're like, ah! He like absconded, basically, though, right? Where's he at? I don't know. I thought he went international. But that's for another episode. Right, that's, a, that's another mystery. <laughs> Stay that's tuned next time. The Weinstein effect. Yes. <laughs> so, yeah, was this just like a shady Hollywood rando, which, you know, there are those. Tomorrow. There are plenty of those. Yeah, yeah. Well, was he an Illuminati operative? Ooh, was he the handler? Or just a Bush operative? Or a combination thereof. I, mean, I believe you mean the Bush operative. The Bush. <laughs> the all, Bush! All I keep thinking of now is that uh, George Bush had like a straight line. You know how there was that phone to Henry Kissinger one? in the <laughs> office for JFK? <laughs> the red shiny one that lights up like the back I'm just thinking yeah, I'm like Bush had a line like, Mr. President, something's gone horribly wrong. Get me Britney Spears on the line. Or he's just like, ah, oh, shit, I fucked up. Got to go to that special line. Brings him his pink and fuzzy and then, like, wraps it up. Hell yeah. What's up, my country sister? It's we have an emergency. It smells like cupcakes. Oh, <laughs> when it's all shaved. What? No, what was, her, what was her scent? Was it called Poison? I think Britney Toxic? Spears is... That was a song. That was a song. That was a song, Toxic. But she had some scent, too. Pretty it was all song. named. Sounds about right. Toxic, Tom's the men under. I mean, people know your songs, Brittany. Mm-hmm. Don't, don't, don't fret. It's, it's true. We've only just begun. I mean, that's just two of our songs <laughs> we've done so far. That's three. Yeah. Baby, one more time. Uh, the toxic dun, dun, dun. and... Oops. Mm-hmm. Oops, I, mm-hmm. again. Oh, well, I, guess. <laughs> I guess we only know two. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy. It's In the end, all we have are questions. Is Britney Spears one of the greatest spies? Or is she the victim of the shadowy conspiracy that owes its existence to both the Nazi and the powers that be? The Illuminati, yeah. New World Order, etc. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Others? <laughs> or was Britney not a girl? Not yet a woman who defined herself by her relationship with Justin Timberlake, only then lost herself when that relationship ended. Mm. Mm. Maybe I Justin know. Timberlake is also an operative. He, I mean, he was in the, the Mickey Mouse Club as well. Yeah. So he, was, he doesn't have the absolutely. controversy, though. He doesn't have, like... Yeah, JT is squeaky clean. Pulling. Yeah. Yes. He's got the sunshine they haven't, in his Maybe body. they mm-hmm. haven't needed his... A good soul in his feet. Yeah. <laughs> Feels that hot button in his body. <laughs> well, what happened when he pulled the cover off of the nipple? Oh, right when he was oh, like, "Is that Jackson? a Jax? Is that a dot um, we can connect?" Uh, Quite possible. Like, what are you talking about? Like he got when to the, at the Super Bowl. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah was, just until the late fall, pulled off. Blue came out. Uh, oh, I forgot. I forgot. It revealed, just revealed her breast. Somehow, Jan Jackson's, Jackson's breast blood. to children. Mm. <gasps> To me, oh, was, no. oh, the children. <laughs> to me, it was Back very to the clearly. Nipples. Back to a bunch of guys killing themselves. <laughs> Back to the concussions. <laughs> <laughs> to me, it was very clearly intentional. Like yeah. when you look back at that. Well, clip, what was the lyric? He having yeah, naked yeah, by the end of the song. song. Yeah, and you can see he like grabs the side mm. of it and pulls it off. Oh yeah, and it looks like it's supposed to be tearaway. It's not like. Yep. It, it was intentional. Oh, like absolutely. Whether it was intentional, intentional by Janet Jackson, he certainly intended to rip off part of her dress. You can see him grab the side and pull it off. Right? And he got away oh, yeah. squeaky clean too. Yeah, absolutely. Which is weird. Oh, shit. Like Janet got a Just bunch of flack, yeah, sure but, did. but he was like, nobody even mentioned it. And I was like, no, really. she even she also has like an insane nipple adornment. Yeah, like, yeah, right? yeah. It's, it's like a big star. It's she like was the stars. Stars. I was like, yeah, for sure. Like, I don't know. There's, it's real fishy that moment. That's for another episode too. Yeah. Almost. <laughs> that might be have to be one for Somebody Christmas Hall. Write it down. Hole or write it down. <laughs> Christmas Hall. I definitely remember watching that Super Bowl and the whole room being like, "What? What? Is that just boob? <laughs> yeah, Did yeah. I just see boob? <laughs> that was boob. Yeah. That was definitely boob. I've seen boob before. That's boob, man. <laughs> and not man boob. They definitely not man boob. After that incident, changed the way they broadcast live TV because yep. in the past it had been that there was only a four second delay from what was happening to what was in your home, 
and there was no chance to edit, censor, bleep, etc. So now with live TV, there's a much significant, more significant delay. Yeah. I think it's like 18 seconds now. So Long that, enough to catch it and fix it. Exactly. If something goes crazy, they cut, can it cut out. feed or do what they need to do. But it says yeah. live in the lower third, so. As long as it says that, that's, uh, they can't put that on there uh, unless, unless it's, it's actually well, live. Right. Distant. It's like when a cop, when you ask someone if they're a cop, right. uh, they, they gotta to, tell you. They gotta say it. Okay. Well, well, I just tempt the Illuminati to come after me. <laughs> <laughs> yes. They can actually me. put, if they can put live on the bottom if it was recorded live. Oh. And they'll do that sometimes to make it seem like something is going on at that moment. But I was re- I was uh, listening to some podcast about a cop show that they have that they'll literally show stuff all up, and that's one of the tricks that they do. Live like, PD, yeah. yeah, live PD. Yeah. That's yeah. how the moon yeah. landing happened as well. Adds mm. <laughs> <laughs> yep. up. So that's proven fact. That's the long. I mean, yeah. Well, I mean, this isn't a mystery. I mean, we all know that she's an agent, <laughs> right? Oh, we agree right on that there, part. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. It's just a matter. of who is she an agent for? Mm-hmm. Exactly. You know? It, I, I, here, I hope and pray that she is the mastermind behind all of this. <laughs> but my like fear she's is just she, taking it upon yep. herself. She's like, oh man, my country is in need. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I am not sure. I pray that that is the case, but I feel like she got Judy Garland. She got groomed. She's got groomed. Yeah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. She got groomed. And, you know, Mr... Osama, was that his name? Yeah. What's his name? Lutfi? Lutfi. 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 Like, it's German. Like, he's, like, probably tied into Operation Paperclip. Right? You guys know that? <laughs> you guys ever heard of that? Uh-huh. We, the United States, when, like, all the Nazi uh, scientists were fleeing Germany, we took them oh, on. Oh, yeah, we did. Mm-hmm. We took, like... Oh hundreds of them mm. to, to, to our important positions throughout our government and mm. to our like defense system because we didn't want an opposition to have them to have them knowing mm-hmm. that that would give somebody else like some sort of benefit like mm. we took on monsters That's i mean it's definitely known with a lot of the scientists or whatever but a lot yeah. of like the he heavy sounds like that as he well. sounds like that he literally sounds like he was like 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 he was designed to be a monster like a, a nazi Middle Eastern crazy. <laughs> now I'm the racist. <laughs> yeah. I see it now. I see it. We're going to take our turn. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> racist. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> but everyone is just about as racist as you. <laughs> and you. And you. Hey. Uh, tell us what you think. Let us know in Facebook comments. Do you think uh, Brittany is actually a cryptid controlling all of the world through her tendrils? Psychic what did they call her again? The something prostitute? They, they said she was like a, a super soul, spy, super, super soldier, soldier prostitute. Super soldier prostitute? Which oh. might be a great That's idea. her new album. Yes, thank super you. Super soldier prostitute. Words right out of my mouth. What's what your favorite Britney Spears <laughs> freak out moment? I'm a super soldier spy. <laughs> 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 Bunch of little girls singing how they're super soldier prostitutes. Yeah. <laughs> Which ties back into your first episode. Oh, like, here we like, go. Like the, it's Those called dance moms. Girls. You have dance moms. Uh, you better work, bitch. Mm. It all ties back. <laughs> Poor Brittany. Poor youth. But I like I, I I like the it's turned around for her. Like she's yeah. she's living her best life. Sure is. Yeah. That just shows you just chewed her up and spit her out. Like she, you know, her career is not what it once was. No, she's they're done with her, right? Successful because she's been a really good spy. Because she's done what she needed to do for mm-hmm. her country. She and, knows she's that retired, deep down that she's, she's carrying that with her. I exactly. Think, yeah. She's proud. So she's always been a simple American. country girl. Uh, clearly, <laughs> she's always been simple. She don't need all this. She's doing it for her country. Mm-hmm. Mike Sam for Mike. Chris, why don't you give uh, Tristan your best lead in from your work abroad? <laughs> like, do your best. Best uh, <laughs> intro for Tristan to close out the episode. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage this handsome devil with the beautiful hair, Tristan. <laughs> well, hey, y'all. Thanks for having me. <laughs> so glad to be here. I'm doing it, Mom, just like you told me. Mom, stop it. I'm doing it. <laughs> you want a hot body? You want a Bugatti? You want a Maserati? You better work, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> For High Mystery, I'm Tristan. I'm Brian. I'm Holly. I'm Leanne. I'm Robert. I'm Colin. I'm Chris. 
Thanks so much for listening. Bye. Good evening. Check out our Patreon page. It's a one dollar. Just like a circus.